Hi guys, here in this video we are analyzing part C physical chemistry problem of CSR at June 2019 chemical sciences. Watch the video completely to get conceptual analysis with correct answer of this problem. Okay, yeah, just look at the given problem. If the over potential of an electrolysis process is increased from 0.5 volts to 0.6 volts, then the ratio of current densities ln J0.6 by J0.5 of the electrolysis will be equal to here we have given with transfer coefficient 0.5 okay right to solve this problem first we need to look at butler womer equation okay right butler womer equation is a fundamental equation for electrochemical kinetics okay so fundamental equation of electrochemical kinetics and uh, this equation describes how electrical current on electrode depends on electrode potential okay and here whenever both cathodic and anodic reactions occurs on the same electrode okay so if we take an electrode simply a butler omer equation describes how electrical current on electrode depends on electrode potential considering both the anodic and cathodic reactions takes place on same electrode okay right now so from this equation uh, from this uh, butler omer equation we can take j c that is simply we consider it as cathodic current okay or simply cathodic current density okay and uh, which is given as minus j0 into exponential minus alpha z into f by r into t into n okay and next we can say j a here what is j simply anodic current density and which equals to j0 exponential 1 minus alpha z into f by r into t n okay just write down for convenience alpha c and alpha a okay now just we need to know information about each and every term here on the given butler omer equations okay right the total current density equals to and uh, the sum of cathodic and anodic current densities okay right here what is j0 okay exchange current density j0 is simply considered as exchange current density so just know each and every term are related to butler omer equation here and then we know what is t simply absolute temperature in kelvins and r is can constant and f is faraday constant okay then what we need to know what is alpha c okay so here alpha c indicating that cathodic just write down cathodic charge transfer coefficient okay cathodic charge transfer coefficient and what is alpha a simply anodic charge transfer coefficient okay then what is n so here n indicating simply activation over potential okay activation over potential right and here n equals to e plus uh, here e minus e equilibrium here e indicating that electrode potential we just write down electrode potential and e equilibrium is uh, equilibrium potential okay right just get all the information about each and every term related to a butler omer equation here okay right now just uh, by, by just using these equations uh, we can find an problem okay right 
So just take here. We are just taking J. Okay, so it is it 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 may be cathodic or anodic because here we have given with uh, transfer coefficient, but it is not particularly mentioned for anodic or cathodic. So just uh, take J and by so just take J E electrode then. Uh, you know we take uh, that j0 here so exponential okay so here alpha z into f by rt into n okay so when we take ln j by j0 so which equals to alpha z f by rt into n consider it is uh, here in uh, electrode cathodic analytic reactions or electrolytic process only one electron is involving in that case we can take alpha into f by rt into n okay so here alpha is given as 0 0.5 just take it 0 0.5 into f by rt into n so n equals to 0 0.6 minus 0 0.5 okay so that equals to 0 0.1 so from that we can get 0 0.05 f by rt so this is our answer just check the second option is our is the correct answer for the given problem okay right so if you are interested just visit and join chemasis.online to get a best course best online courses to get the success thank you very much